Hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad to have you here today. My name is Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, and today we're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about the top 10 genealogy videos that we released here on Family History Fanatics. Now, if you're watching the live show, please go ahead and tell me if the sound is okay because we're back in the studios. We had some glitches while I was gone and I'm trying to make sure that everything goes well this time. But that is the nature of trying new things and trying to go live and all these other things. Now, let me know if you're watching in live or in the replay, how was 2020 for you? Now for me, 2020 was both good and bad. It was good because in the first month or two, I was able to go live almost every other day um, and did, uh, as Greg likes to say in our community, I was able to provide some daily content in the beginning stages of COVID-19 lockdown. And that was a welcome relief for many people who suddenly had to be home. And I enjoyed that. What happened is I had to learn how to do all this technology by myself instead of having my husband. I've gotten so good at it that during the last um, uh, FHF live stream for members only, he had some technical glitches and since I was out of town, I couldn't help him. And that is kind of fun. So that's kind of a highlight for me. Another highlight of 2020 was being able to be in a booth at Roots Tech in person in Salt Lake City with the amazing Lisa Louise Cook from Genealogy Gems. If you are a Genealogy Gems fan, go ahead and type Genealogy Gems in the chat. I, I want to know who in this audience just absolutely loves Lisa. I was so thankful to be able to um, sell our books there at Roots Tech and not only turn a colleague into a friend, but we were able to teach each other new things. And if you've been watching Lisa Louise Cook's um, new videos here on YouTube, um, I don't know how to say Elevenez. <laughs> anyway, so 11 o'clock and um, have a cup of tea with Lisa. Um, a lot of that came because she asked a lot of questions of us. And so it was nice to be able to help her do something because she's helped me so much. I don't know if you guys have been able to help somebody else in that way and just the joy it brings. So those are two big highlights for 2020 for Family History Fanatics. One of the negatives has been the fact that Andy lost his job in April and then we had actually nine family units in our household. So we had nine people living together, nine not family units, that's wrong. We had nine people living in our family and uh, many groups went four different directions. My adorable in-laws moved to Missouri. My amazing son, who is now um, 17, he uh, had to stay in Houston in order to do dual credit. And then my daughter, she graduated, and some of you saw our virtual graduation because there was no graduation. So thank you for those who participated. Um, she is now in Alabama. And then we're now in Los Alamos, New Mexico, getting adjusted to, to, to really high elevation and very, very dry climate and it, frequent snowfalls. We had snow in September, October, November, and December, but it doesn't stick around long enough for us to go sledding and the ski hills are closed, so we can't do that. But that's not why you're here. Um, go ahead and feel free to connect and tell us what were your highlights and what your lowlights, both in the live chat or in the replay. But we're going to get started talking about the top 10 genealogy videos here on Family History Fanatics. Now, just to give you a little bit of a caveat, oh, my nose starts itching. You guys who are loyal families, fans know that our nose always starts itching when we go live. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's psychological now. Anyway, so here's a little bit of the uh, requirements. Now, granted, some of these videos that are going to make the list were actually from our Vlogmas in 2019. It takes about a full month for us to know where a video is going to rank in our top list. And so the videos that you may have seen in Genealogy Vlogmas, and I need to make sure that yeah, so everybody's commenting, so that means the sound's on. I never actually look because I get going and I get nervous. Anyway, 
So if the video was in genealogy vlogmas 2020, it won't make the cut because it hasn't had a full month to generate the views that it's probably going to have. So it does say top 2020, but I hope you won't get too upset when some of the December 2019 videos make the cut. Just so you know, Phil and Bambi didn't make the cut. For those of you who love Phil and Bambi, they didn't make the cuts. But let's go ahead and talk about number 10. All right, so the number 10 video was really, really fun to do. It was one of the first videos that I did here in Los Alamos, and two of the people who were part of that video are in the chat, the live chat, Chris and Greg, and they are Wikitreeers, and they told us about the three reasons why you should be using Wikitree. I can't thank the Wikitreeers enough for supporting that video. Um, some of you who watched that video started using Wikitree for the first time, and that's really exciting because they have a lot of great things going on. <laughs> and Craig, uh, Craig, see, I do this a lot. I'll take two names and I'll and I'll swap the letters. So I just I was gonna call Craig and Gris. Anyway, I feel like Doc from the Seven Dwarfs. Anyway, Craig, that's not right. Chris and Greg are both super excited that they made the list. So thank you guys so much. Now, if you are a using Wikitree and you have questions, then I definitely want you to either send me an email, fill out the survey that's gonna be linked to in the description and talked about a little bit later, or put it in the comments of this video. And that way, throughout this year, I'll be coming back and revisiting that. If I don't know how to do it, we'll get Chris, Greg, or another weekly trier to come on and watch the show. So, all right, let us go to number nine. I do want to thank everybody that is joining live. Greg said something earlier. It's like, oh my gosh, I came in just before the show and I had to catch the pre-show conversation that was going on. And he really loved a comment from June that was saying how much she enjoys our community. So whenever we have a live, show up early, have some fun and conversation, and then um, enjoy the community. We love you guys so much. So those people who are joining us live include Chris and Greg. I've already mentioned you guys way too many times, but I appreciate you. Um, Carol and Stacy and Lily and June. Some other people joined in after I started yapping. Well, let's go find them. And many people ask, where are you from? Well, I was actually born in Ohio and raised in Texas. So if you hear all of my crazy accents and my idioms. <laughs> John Tyner is in the house and he has asked me about some of my idioms before. So it's nice to have an international audience. He's from Ireland. And um, I remember saying an idiom with him in a chat one time. So um, Jody, yes, I, I saw Jody come. And Robin, hi Robin, glad you're here. Kathy, um, Kathy, could you, all right. If I miss you, I'll catch you up. Angie, oh, Angie, I'm glad you're here. Sorry to hear your mother pass. J-R-E, glad you're here. If I miss anybody, I'll catch you a little bit later. I'm so glad you're joining us. But let's go to number nine. So number nine was actually a follow-up for a video I released a couple years ago, which is the most popular blog post I have over on my blog. And it is one of the most searched for, we are a keyword, Family History Fanatics surnames. So I went to Roots Tech and I taught a lab on how to create a surname table. And then I also released a new way to do surname tables. Now, if you're still struggling creating your surname table, then all you have to do is send me an email, info at familyhistoryfanatics.com, show me what you have, and I will help you finish it off. If you don't know why you need to make a surname table, then after this video airs, though you will find a link in the description for this video and all the rest of them talking about your surname table. So how many of you have actually created a surname table? Let me know in the chat, whether it's live or you're watching the replay. I wanna know how many of you have been successful. Now, while you're answering that question, um, I wanna call your attention to something. 
there are a lot of people who said, um, how do I support Family History Fanatics? Well, the first thing is you can hit the subscribe button on any video. When you hit subscribe, you also wanna hit the little bell beside the subscribe image. Let me change screens. Beside the little subscribe button. And what that does is that when we go live, you will get a notified about 30 minutes before, and then you will get a notified right when we go live. And that's one way to not miss when we go live or have a premiere or watch party. Um, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Our goal this year is to try to get to 500, not 500, 50,000 subscribers. That would be great. It's halfway to a silver play button. There's only one genealogy channel on YouTube that has gotten over 100,000 subscribers and that's Ancestry. It would be awesome if we could get to a silver play button, but I'm just trying to get at least halfway this year. So be sure you hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. And that way you get notified when these uh, things go live. The other thing I wanna call your attention to is that we have a lot of free guides. And in every description of each video that we have on this channel, there's a link to some free guide. And those free guides are there for you. They're resources to help you get started and they're kind of the gateway to our newsletter. So be sure to check those out. All right, Chris made a surname table and I see, I thought I saw Stacy said that she had made one. All right, just checking. Oh, yes, see, I did see that Stacy made one. All right, so if you haven't made a surname table, you need to go watch this video. All right, let's go to number eight. John hasn't made one yet, but maybe at the end of 2021, he can make one or by the end of January. So John or anyone, remember, if you get stuck, send me an email, I'll help you finish it up. All right, great. Um, so number eight. Since I like to focus on research, one of the websites that we should be researching on is Ancestry. So if you're an Ancestry user, type Ancestry in the live chat or in the comments after, during the replay. Um, so one of the most popular Ancestry videos that I released this year was how do you, or should you accept or reject the record hints that Ancestry gives you. This one wasn't about DNA, it was focused solely on record hints. And a lot of people really enjoyed that. Now in 2020, one of the things I wanted to do was do a lot more videos on my heritage, Ancestry, Find My Path, Family Search, and things like that. But during the middle of the summer, we went back to just one video a week, and it was a Brookwell series we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but it was definitely one that it was used. So Robin, you wanted to know um, why you need a surname table. You're gonna have to watch that video. <laughs> it's a teaser, I know. <laughs> All right, so lots of Ancestry users watching um, the live stream. Yeah, Ancestry is great. It is one of the largest record um, collections online or has one of the largest record collections online. They're constantly working to improve their search engine. They're probably the oldest that's been around. So of course they're gonna be, be um, well known. Plus they have a lot of commercials. <laughs> All right, number seven. Now, number seven actually used two online resources. The first is Family Search and the second is a um, website called Pozilla. Now, Pozilla is actually very handy if you happen to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and you're trying to find new lines to research to do temple work. If you're not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it is still a handy resource to look for new um, paths to research if your tree is full. And who is there on that graphic but none other than Caleb. Now in 2020, something that happened with our channel is that Caleb can no longer be on our channel right now because of college and because he's in Houston. We left him behind in Houston. And so he has, no, has to go away for a while and not 
appear on the channel. And I know a lot of people really enjoy Caleb. In fact, a lot of the comments we get on Caleb's video is, oh my gosh, how in the heck did someone so young get involved in family history? I'll let you ask him in any of the videos with his little face on it, and he'll be happy to respond to you. All right. So I promise to answer any questions once we get through the top 10 list, and we'll stick around and have some fun at the end. If you want me to answer your question, a specific question, make sure you put Q in front of it. So now let's go to number six. And I'm so glad at least one of these videos made the top 10 list. And these videos come from my brick wall series about John Tanley. Earlier in the year, I asked email subscribers, hey, I think I just broke through my John Tanley brick wall. Would you like me to show you how I did it? And people said, absolutely. It was so fun to be vulnerable. You know, there's a lot of researchers, and let me know in the comments if you're one of these. There's a lot of researchers who don't like to share their research because they don't want to be told they're wrong. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I shared my research and I was so afraid somebody would say, you are just so crazy in the head. You made every wrong turn imaginable. It's just as bad as confusing who the grandparents and grandparent line of Hillary Clinton is. <laughs> But so far, I haven't heard that. I've heard a lot of people say, wow, I really learned so much from your brick wall series. And I really, really love descendancy research. So descendancy research is not just looking at your primary ancestor and trying to go to the next ancestor, but it actually takes your primary ancestor and looks at all the branches that come down. A lot of your brick walls can be solved if you will trace down the descendancy tree. <laughs> all right. Yes, I, I'm so glad I'm seeing some people say, hey, I share. That is awesome. That is awesome. Because in genealogy, one of the things that we don't do really well, and I'm going to show you one other step, that um, a lot of the videos that we have have complimentary blog posts. But in the Brick Wall series in particular, there were my research notes. They were so messy. I know as a beginning genealogist, when I tried to emulate the experts and the leaders in the field, I would just see their final product and I would see their outline and their lectures and I wouldn't know how to go from point A to point B. And so over in the brick wall series, especially over on the blog post, you can see um, my research notes every step of the way about how they um, expand. And then in the end, I show you how I made my actual report. So I'm glad that there's lots of people who share. Um, Greg says, you always learn best from your mistakes. Thanks for sharing that learning with us. It was invaluable. I totally agree. Um, another person said, I was afraid of someone asking me, where did you get this information? Exactly. To get over the fear you start writing your notes and you share, and somebody might say, where did you get that information? And you say, well, here's my, here's my notes. Here's my notes, here's my final report. You tell me where I made a mistake. And then maybe somebody can come along and help you fix it. And so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And Chris said, share and write a, a blog post. Utilize the blogs that we have and share um, your research with others but you can also use Wikitree to share your research. Chris and Greg just got happy. <laughs> but you can also use Family Search to share your research. And if you'll um, watch the Brick Wall series, you'll see where I shared my research on Family Search. All right, number five. <laughs> and yes, ascertain. Oh, yes. What was so great is when I talk so much about my townly ancestors, some people came back and say, hey, I have a clue for you. And Ascertain had told me how she stumbled across somebody who was a townly. It was awesome. <laughs> so thanks so much. All right, number five, number five. Now, this is no surprise that um, so many of my top performing videos happen to be on the Family Search platform. A couple of reasons why. There are not a lot of family search videos on YouTube. And there's not a lot of positive family search videos on YouTube. 
And as some of you know, I absolutely love city directories and I equally love the Family Search website. It has its challenges, but what I like is that we can clean up the Family Search family tree. There are videos about how to merge duplicate individuals, how to merge two people that were incorrectly added to the tree. Maybe there was a Shelly and one version was a male Shelly and one was a female Shelly. So there's a video on how to merge people who are of the same uh, opposite gender because Family Search won't let you do it. There are videos on how to link same sex couples on the Family Search website. There are so many things you can do to clean up the, in the tree. You can watch this video and then look for a lot of our Family Search videos. But the other thing is, of the top 10 videos, this is the second entry from my son, Caleb. I think people just like Caleb. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so number four. Now, somebody said, hey, well, Family Search provides a lot of um, training videos. Well, if you go and look at the Family Search YouTube channel, they do a lot of commercials, and there's nothing wrong with the commercials, but when I want training you, on Family Search, you would think I can go to Family Search to get training. Um, I can't cover everything on Family Search, so be sure to check out the BYU Family History Library channel because they have a lot of videos about Family Search and how to use it. So there, there and there's some other really small channels on on YouTube that tells you how to do um, genealogy, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, number four. Now, some people do, um, I'm going to come back to you to talk, uh, <laughs> it's live. I would have just edited that out and put it at as a blooper at the end of the video. I know John absolutely loves all the bloopers. There was a blooper just then. Let me try that again. So a number of people talk about the problems with family search, and we can talk about that in the Q&A section after this video. All right, so number four. Number four has got to be my most controversial video here on the channel for 2020. The most controversial video on our channel is, is Finland part of Scandinavia? I can't tell you how many people really get perturbed about that question and how there really isn't a consensus. It all depends on where you lived and what your background is. But are you ready? for my most controversial video here on YouTube. Did you think about that one? <laughs> now, what was great about this video is I don't necessarily want to make people mad. Although I made a lot of people mad and they really sanded off on me on Facebook, they wouldn't come over to YouTube and talk about it. But the reason why I like videos like this is I want you to do research. I want you to enjoy the journey. And most importantly, I don't want you to waste your time. And for me, research logs are outdated. In this video, I talked about how you can either write a research report and put your stuff in a database and skip a research log because your report has a to-do list. It has everything you need, your research plan, your research notes, your research report, and then go to your database and skip the whole research log, or you can do the reverse. What was also significant in the comments that I did read over on uh, family, uh, Facebook and over here on YouTube, a lot of experts that I value don't use research logs. <laughs> so it's okay if you're, um, a research log lover, I, I'm fine with that. But if you're starting with family history and you're like the man that came to me at Roots Tech and said, I have been struggling to do research for so long. I am just, I'm struggling. And I went to this class and they said, absolutely the secret is to a research log. And I said, I'm gonna share with you this video because it came out before Roots Tech. I'm gonna share with you this video the pros and cons of research logs, and then you decide. He came back and sent me an email and said, you know what? I need to be more organized in my research. I need to have an online tree. I need to have a database. I need to have a research plan, and I need to write reports. 
I don't really need that extra step. So yes, I still stand by this video. Yes, it was the most controversial one that I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, it, was, it was really certainly fun. Oh, <laughs> you guys are leaving some great comments. I'm going to have to catch up with the, um, the comments here in a second. Okay, number three. Number three. One of the things that I aspire to do is to be your gateway into more serious research. I want family history to be fun. If it isn't fun, you're doing it wrong. And so it's no surprise that one of my top performing videos was about blunders or mistakes that people make when they get started in genealogy. Not many of you are beginners. If you are, go ahead and tell me in the live chat or in the replay. Some of us still feel like we're beginners and some of us still make rookie mistakes even though we've been doing this for a while. But I'm really glad that I can bring people into the genealogy industry. And then if I don't know the ancestor, I answer, excuse me, the answer, I'm gonna direct you to somebody who does. I'm gonna tell you to go check out Legacy Tree Genealogist or Amy Johnson Crow or Lisa Louise um, Cook or Lisa Leeson. Yeah, they're some of my absolute favorite resources. And if you haven't checked them out, you need to. But if you want to do Italian research, I'm going to send you to Bella Italia. And if you want to do Iris research, then I'm going to call up my friend Jen Baldwin at Find My Past and ask her. She may not be the expert on Irish research, but I know who she does. And so that's why I really like that my beginning videos are really reaching people. And hopefully I can be your gateway into deeper research. Semi-beginner. Hi, Debbie. I like that. Semi-beginner. Love it, love it, love it. Glad you're here. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, all right. Number two. Number two. Now, this video has the distinct honor of having the most videos, I mean, views on our channel in a weekend. It just blew up. It blew up. Now, those of you who are watching, can you tell me what the genealogy secret weapon is? That will let me know if you watch this video or not. I'll give you a little bit of hint. It has to do with family search. So now, if you're watching this stream, you're thinking, wait, you haven't included any DNA videos on your top, top list. Well, you're right. <laughs> I haven't because this video is the top genealogy videos on this channel. And tomorrow's video will be the top DNA videos on this channel. So you kind of get a twofer and I hope you enjoy them both. But who knows what the secret weapon is? Okay, so we've got some votes. Um, city directories. City directories, there are not a lot of them on Family Search, although you guys know I love city directories. All right, Family Search Wiki, the catalog, Wiki, Wiki. Ah! Yes. <laughs> the Family Search Wiki. I, whenever somebody says, I'm looking for an ancestor in 1875 in name a county, in name a country. So let me say, Greg is in the house. So Lincoln County, Ontario, Canada. Now I know that one because I actually have ancestors from Lincoln County, Ontario, Canada. If this is a place I have never researched, I go to the Family Search Wiki. I learn his brief history, brief timelines, where are the records kept, which ones are online. Now there are a lot of other portal websites, but I really, really love the Family Search Wiki. It is my go-to secret weapon. And for everyone of you that guessed the Family Search Wiki, right on. Good job. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Okay. Now, I have an invitation for you all. Some of you are on our YouTube um, subscription left and some of you are our channel members and some of you are just watching a few videos here and there and then go, why, why am I not told when you have a new video? That's because of YouTube's algorithm and love it or hate it, sometimes you're not gonna see what videos that we put out or the blogs that we put out. So. I invite you to check out in the, um, in the, whoops, 
the link in the, it'll be in the description for the survey. You just give me a second after we finish this live stream. I want you to fill out this survey. And those of you who have already filled this out, thank you so much. What I wanted to do are two things. I wanna know what you wanna learn from us in 2021. Your favorites might not be on the list or your topics haven't been covered. Well, this survey will ask you, what do you, should we be covering in 2021? But also, this is how you can get on our email list and get the right emails for you. We put out a weekly email on Monday and, and that covers everything. And some people just want a Monday email and that's fine. Some of you have said, hey, can you send me an email right before you go live? Sure, no problem. So we send out videos based on the topics right before we go live throughout the week. So DNA Wednesdays, get a video, oh, an email for DNA. Um, we often go live on Friday and our channel members go have videos that go out on Saturday. And so we send out extra emails. And then there's other content that'll be coming in 2021 for writing, research, beginners, and things like that. And I want you to get the emails that you want so you don't mark me as spam. So once this stream is over, go check out the link in the description for the survey, fill it out so you can help us know what videos to make, and then you can be told when they go live. All right. <laughs> Almost time for questions. Um, if it's a DNA question, you guys know that that's really Andy's department and that'll be tomorrow. Um, but if you have a question and you wanna make sure that it gets answered in today's live stream, put a cue in front of it right now. It's totally fine. And then I can see it when we come back, when we get to Q&A. All right, who thinks they know what the number one video in 2020 was? I'll give you a quick second to throw in your, um, your thoughts. Uh, you look at this stream a little bit. The chat, I mean. Okay, so I'm seeing that Robin had wanted more videos about organization. She already watched one of our videos and has more questions. You can ask them now and you can also fill out that form. So let me scroll back down and see what people thought the number one video was. Roots Tech, City Directories, DNA, it's always DNA. <laughs> That's why the research video got their own, <laughs> their own, um, own video. Uh, all right, sweet. So the number one video in 2020, I am so jealous, was by my son, Caleb Lee. <laughs> now it's no surprise because it's another family search video. Now I didn't make as very many ancestry videos and I'm also a huge family search fan girl. So that could explain why most people come for our channel to learn about family search. So don't be surprised if we go a little more family search heavy in 2021, but I promise not to neglect the other websites. <laughs> All right. So those are the top 10 videos that we released in 2020. Um, what videos, or no, I, that's what the survey's for. I was gonna say, what videos do you wanna see? <laughs> Um, are you surprised by any of the videos that made the list or didn't make the list? Um, I know some of you have said, hey, I really like this video that you did in December 2020 during Vlogmas. And remember, that's gonna, like, probably gonna show up next year. All right, I also want you to tell me your favorite um, topics to learn about, especially when it's related to research, because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> 